5, Episode 2, Deadlift. So this episode, definitely funny as always, but I think they did a really good job kind of leading into what seems like it's going to be the big story for this season, which is like this secret, like like this one woman who seems to be leading some secret organization. Like we don't specifically know if she's a part of either, um, I, I think it's like the Dead Enders or something like that, the Dead Enders or Chicks. Um, she's a part of some group or she could just be on her own doing her own really like high end crazy manipulating stuff because um, she is of course the one who ended up doing the job at the beginning of the episode or you know the beginning of the episode of the premiere and we also find out that that was completely fake there were never actually any deaths in any way shape or form it just looked like it and it was totally fake so we end up having two people who wanted to get out of the city kind of become the scapegoats so they end up taking off and it's said that they're going to get you know like 15 years or whatever for justice and then on the other side of things major is able to actually find a way to get justice for the zombie side of things or seemingly for the human side where it's like okay these are the people that did this thing um you know who committed this murder and you know we executed them and they you know it's leaked footage and i was like okay everything kind of works out they do the fake murders where they actually just put the guys on ice unfortunately they end up killing off and i wish i could remember her name right now because um, i thought she would actually play a part in the season because that was like a big deal last season but unfortunately she gets killed in this episode and i wish like i said i could remember her name but she gets killed um she gets assassinated pretty much because we have like this dude who's a straight up sniper and he's you know killed taking people out so there's a lot of interesting stuff by the end a lot of background stuff that ends up going on where it's like you know these people use escape goats but they wanted to escape so they choose to you know let themselves go so that they can get out of seattle we have people that are seemingly you know zombies that are seemingly killed for justice but they're actually put on ice we have you know and of, of course things don't actually end up going right for the guy and the two little girls who are trying to get into seattle of course they end up losing baron so he ends up getting killed because there are people um basically on the outside of the wall not cops or anything they're just out there doing patrols and stuff it made me th oddly enough it made me think of the walking dead it was a very specific scene it was when the arrow like hit the post i instantly went back to like reading the comics and i was like holy crap that made me like think of a very specific moment if you've seen the walking dead you actually know what i'm talking about too they just a different character was in that scene um but i was like holy crap like they're just getting you know chased down and unfortunately baron gets killed and so you know the kids do end up making their way into Seattle, which is fortunate for them. And by the end, the two little girls end up getting scratched as well because, you know, that's the decision that they made. But it was an interesting ending. Like, the whole episode I thought was entertaining. Um, Liv was on crazy exercise brains, which I thought was cool. They mentioned the vision thing, and I hadn't even thought about the fact that they didn't show a vision in the premiere. But we also don't see one in this episode either. It's like her being on that brain wasn't really a part of the story. Like, it's probably not going to be a part of the season at all like it was like half of the season i think last time but i don't think it's really going to be a part of this i'm sure it'll be like some episode it kind of, it almost has to be like that was kind of like the main thing was that she takes over the personalities but it helps them solve cases but really it was more the personality in general because she's still really funny in this where she's like oh you know um robbie took in a bunch of empty calories and she's talking about how much <laughs> ranch is normally in a pint and stuff which i thought was super funny it's like yeah i'm normally not eating like a pint of ranch you know when i eat salad so i thought that was a good one but i was like okay you know it was interesting they referenced the fact that she was uh, doing kegels which is super funny but he was like you know are you having a vision and i was like no nah. but it's like oh yeah i forgot that was a part of the show like it was just the personality stuff is you know what i really think about i actually forget about the visions uh from time to time so it was funny that they mentioned it and i was like oh yeah that's that was kind of the big push for the show that she sees visions and stuff and i was just like Ah, we don't need that. Just the funny personality because it doesn't matter. Um, another random thing that I noticed, I didn't notice this last time because I didn't even bother looking, but in the opening, they actually changed it to where it's Blaine and Donnie are like the enemies. I thought that was cool. I didn't notice that in the last episode because I, like I said, I just listened to the promo. I was probably doing something random. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I like that they put that in there in the final season because I'm pretty sure that wasn't there last season. And if it was, I missed that every single episode, but I don't think it was there last time um but i thought that was cool i was like oh they got a little a new little title card in there but definitely enjoyed this episode i feel like everything that kind of happened was really packed into the ending like it was it was a lot of stuff that was talked about but i think all the real action this you know of course there was like the murders and stuff like that and them trying to solve this mystery of like okay well they thought this one woman was dead turns out she was actually just cheating on her boyfriend so that's like when she just like comes out of the forest and it's like oh that's her and here's this random dude as well and i was like oh that sucks for that guy like he was distraught and like all messed up and then it's like you go through fake death and then it's like oh she's alive and then it's like 
oh, oh, that sucks. So I was like, well, that's that really blows for that guy. That was like a crappy moment for his life. But, you know, they're going through this mystery of like, well, she's alive. They're going through all the numbers and, you know, social security numbers. All of these different people, you know, are still alive. And I'm sure it'll come up that they ended up talking to uh, the woman who was involved in this fake murder. You know, they talked to her early on in the episode. And then we see her at the end. She's dead anyway because she, you know, was basically like, oh, we need to tell people the truth that they're lying and stuff. And it's like, well, do we tell people that they duped them because we duped everybody first? And it was just like, okay whoever you know the assassin guy was like okay yeah kill her because she's clearly going to say something stupid so she'll be dead soon um maybe that'll come up in the next episode maybe you know the episode after next but she'll be dead soon and then they'll be like okay well we definitely talked to her and somehow she just so happened to end up dead like a day later so i'm sure that might lead them to the person that's kind of pulling these you know pulling the strings right now on you know a guy blowing himself up as well as this crazy you know fake murder to stir up, you know, anti-zombie uh, sentiment. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out because that's, I feel like that has to lead, you know, the team to this mystery woman that, you know, they don't even know about her. She's just a lady selling food out of a truck for now. So I thought it was interesting. And, you know, even in this episode, she goes to uh, some people that she sold food to and she says that there were like four people that were murdered at the bar instead of just one person. So it's interesting how she's, you know, she's doing her thing. She's trying to go in and manipulate people in every single way that she possibly can i'm sure there's going to be some simple story like a zombie ate somebody i recognize the actress so i can't remember if it was from this show if she's actually been in the show before but i recognize the actress so i'm like i've seen her a million times so i can't remember if she was actually in previous seasons or if i'm just thinking of her from a different series but i'm like i was trying to remember as i was watching the episode i was like was she involved in one of their old cases where someone was killed by a zombie? And I would assume she has to be, because that's always the story. If anybody hates anybody, it's always like, this person was murdered by a zombie. So that's, you know, it's just normal. Um, so I was like, man, I can't remember if I'm recognizing her from this actual series or just from like the other million things I know I've seen her in. So it, it's been really hard for me to try to figure it out. But I think she was in a previous season and something happened to someone that she cared about. But take that with a grain of salt, because I really just don't remember it. But I definitely recognized it, so I was trying to figure that out the whole episode. But definitely enjoyed it. Definitely funny, as always. We got to see the guys playing D&D, &D, which was funny. Um, they reference um, the one dude, like, dressing up like a zombie, so they're talking about, like, appropriating culture, which is funny. And the one dude who was, like, talking about blue lives matter, and he says, like, white lives matter. He's like, dude, you're far from white. He's like, you know what I'm talking about. And I, I just thought that was really, they are just being really silly with that. Um, but the whole episode was definitely hilarious, as usual. And then the ending... I thought it was very good, like the way they handle pretty much everything that they're doing. And then, of course, they have um, Robbie and, you know, the whole comedy troupe thing. I'm curious how that's going to end up playing out. Like, what are they going to really end up doing with that storyline? And how is that going to actually help things? Or will it, you know, will they be like, OK, this could help things, which they also call it high zombie, which I thought was great. Um, and it's just like, all right, will that help? Will it not help? What are going to be some of the issues that they deal with? you know, as it's going into production and stuff like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to how that ends up playing out because it seems like, it, you know, it's kind of like a silly thing where it's like, oh, it's going to be like a zombie comedy troop thing, but it's obviously meant to, do, you know, be something grander. So I'm looking forward to how something so weird ends up either helping or, you know, messing up the city. So hopefully it helps, but we'll see how it ends up playing out. But overall, as usual, a funny episode. I think they did a good job. No um i don't think blaine or donnie were in this at all so nothing involving them it was all like city-based stuff like things you know kind of get into a fever pitch so now they've kind of quelled that a little bit things have simmered down and then we'll see you know how things start to play out going forward but fun episode of course would love to know what you guys thought about it so please put your comments down in the comment section below let me know your favorite parts about it at least favorite parts about it and i would love to know um what you guys think is going to end up coming from this lady kind of pulling the strings in the background like do you think she'll actually be victorious and take out the zombie population will that not work how soon do you think they'll end up discovering who this woman really is lots of questions there so i would love to know your predictions on how this season's really going to end up playing out and like i said definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general so please put your comments down in the comment section below and of course thanks for watching